Hi, let's take a look at new window 11 key commands and preferences. So if we look under edit, key commands, some of the new preferences we have are ADM editor, which is a new plugins uh, for the internal and external Dolby Atmos renderer, as well as external OSC renderer. Now you have different, the default settings for the key commands. You can also choose some preset. You can also create your own and save them. And if you want to assign a key commands for, for example, open and close the ADM ordering window, you could just select the key command, click on type the key. I'm going to use, let's say, let's use Q assign. Now it usually tells you if that key uh, is already in use. It will tell you what it's doing now and you can always override it. You're still going to assign it. Now I can just say click OK and I can now open the letter Q, open and close. ADM ordering Dolby Atmos window. Now let's go back to key commands. OSC renderer can also be open from here, external OSC renderer setup. Now if we look at new window preferences, we now have a marker options where you can show marker lines for all the marker tracks or for the active marker track. So if I select from the active marker track and click apply, OK. And let's look at marker track. So if you look at uh, this dialog, marker track is active right now. I can activate the other one. So if I activate the other one here, you can see the line is shifting. Zoom closer here. You can see my cycle markers are extended line all the way across, which make it easier to position the event to the beginning, for example, of a cycle marker or the end of cycle marker. If I zoom out a little bit here and I reactivate dialog here, it will shift the line to the markers and cycle markers of that selected marker tracks. Now, if we go to preferences and say from all marker tracks and apply that, now you can see lines on every single markers and cycle markers within the project. Now let's go back to preferences under tool another useful preference is by default show toolbox on right click will be engaged so if you apply this when you right click on your event window you automatically get the tools options if you uncheck that and click under tools when you right click on the event sections so you have a lot more options not only the tools but you could split as cursor insert silence etc if you right click on an event you get a lot more options. This is very useful for editing. So when you, for example, select multiple clips like that, you right click, you can just say you can move those clips, for example, to a cursor position or origin, meaning the original position of the event. Now, if we look under preferences, tool modifiers can help you speed up your workflow. Now let's take a few examples. If we start with drag and drop, shared copy, if I select a clip and I press and hold shift in option, let's say I want to replace, for example, a specific clip within a project, it will tell me, do you want to modify all events that refer to that same audio material? You can just do it once, or you could do it for all events within the project. Next, we have an option for wrench tool as well as select tool to align to event start by pressing and holding command. You can also align to event start and copy the selected event by pressing and holding command plus options. So let's take a look at these functions. So if I press and hold commands, you can see my mouse looks a little bit different. I have a cursor with a little square to symbolize the uh, event. And if I move the mouse around, you can see the position, the square to the left side of the cursor or the right side of the cursor. I can move any clip within the project to the left or the right side of the cursor. The cursor being the reference point. Now, if we use the wrench tool, number two, the wrench selection becomes my reference point. So I can then move the clip to the left or right side of the selected wrench. Now you can also copy paste any event. So let's switch to the object tool, number one, and I can just press command and option and copy paste to the left or the right side of the cursor. Another useful tool modifier is the select full vertical range. 
If I press number two, I get my wrench tool and I can select uh, any size region within the events section. Now if I press and hold option plus shift, I can define a range for all the tracks within the project. Another useful tool modifier for both the object selection tool and wrench tool is a slip event option. Now if I press and hold shift in option, I can slip the content of this event from left to right. That's with the object tool. If I use the wrench tool, press number two, you can see the wrench selection tool here. I can define a reference point and by pressing and holding shift option again, I can move the content of this event based on that reference point. Now going back to object tool number one, I can also press and hold option and cut different section and also drag and drop, copy paste different sections. So if I want to copy paste this section here, copy paste this section here, copy paste this section here. All I have to do is just press and hold the option key. Now another useful preference is under editing is cycle follow range selection. If this preference is check, the range tool is tied to the locator. And if you unchecked it, you can then use the locator to define a cycle playback region and use the wrench tool for editing.